My name is Gabriel Silva. I speak some languages and have dabbled in many languages. Today I'm going to talk about an interesting topic in language learning. And actually, a great subscriber, he basically asked a question. Okay, so I'm going to read it and I'm going to talk about that today. So he asked me, can you please make a video about how soon to start trying to converse in the language or how to speak in the new language from early on? Well, I think that the second consideration is going to be broader. I'm going to try to, you know, touch on that, but I'll focus a bit more on how soon to start trying to converse in the new language. Okay, just because of the fact that I think there's many, there are many, many things that you can do to try to speak the language, you know, right off the bat, as soon as you start learning it. And uh, so I think that that's the topic for more videos anyway. So today I'll focus a bit more on the first topic, which is uh, how soon to start trying to talk. Uh, and I'm going to say this right off the bat. In my humble opinion, as a polyglot, I believe it's a matter of personal choice and preference, okay? Some great polyglots will tell you, you have to wait. You have to learn, you have to do a lot of learning, and after several months or a year, then you can go and talk in the language, okay? Other polyglots, other great polyglots will tell you, start trying to talk right away, okay? And uh, it doesn't matter if you're making mistakes, it doesn't matter if you have limited vocabulary. I am more, way more towards the second category here. And why is that? First of all, because I like getting feedback from people. So if, uh, if my accent really sucks or if I'm making a lot of mistakes, I want to know. And I want them to tell me that, oh, okay, well, you need to improve your pronunciation here. Or sometimes they'll, they'll correct a mistake. And I actually remember that. Oh, more likely to remember my mistakes if someone points them out to me. Also because of the fact that I, uh, I, I love uh, talking to random people, as hilarious as this may sound, I, uh, I often approach people if I hear an accent and I'm like, oh, where are you from? And because of the fact that I've dabbled in a lot of languages, uh, chances are that I'll know some, you know, often some very basics or more of the language that people are talking in. So that, I do that often. So I'm like, oh, where are you from? And I don't know, like the person answers, I'm from Korea. Then I'll say, Annyeonghaseyo, you know, like, although my <laughs> Korean's not that great, uh, I, I can have a very, very limited basic conversation in Korean. I'll, you know, I'll say some words anyway. So there are a lot of languages in which I speak at a very basic level and I'll try to say stuff anyway. And of course, one day I'm very interested in learning Korean more seriously, but right now, I'm a bit more focused on other languages, you know, but then there's also the consideration I have many people to tell me, you know what, Gabriel, I'm not as outgoing as you are, I'm a bit shy, so I'm afraid of making mistakes, uh, I don't want to talk to people if I'm gonna, if I'm very limited in what I have to say in the target language, and I respect that, I respect that fully, but I like to always remind people that you know, when you're learning a language, it doesn't matter if you're making mistakes. It's, you know, no one's going to really be upset. The vast majority of people are thrilled that you're trying to learn their language and you're trying to talk to them. And I think that, uh, like I've said in other videos, because of the fact that, you know, I've made so many mistakes and I've made a fool out of myself so many times <laughs> uh, trying to speak in different languages and making a ton of mistakes, I think I've developed immunity. To, uh, towards, you know, getting embarrassed. So I think, uh, so I really don't mind, right? So I just, I just go for it. I, I'll say things wrong. Uh, people sometimes will correct me. Sometimes people will, you know, be amused even that I'm, you know, botching a certain language. And I, I, I don't care. I think it's, I think it's part of uh, the learning process. And the more, in my opinion, the more you try to speak early on, the, the quicker you will become better at expressing yourself and your ideas. And uh, because if you're, at least this is the way I feel like it. If, uh, if I don't, if I don't uh, try to speak, if I don't try to talk to people, if I don't try to express myself in the language that I'm learning, it's almost like in my head, 
the language is there, but I haven't made the connections. It's like my neurons haven't really <laughs> made the connections. But if I'm trying to communicate and trying to express myself, those connections are going to get established and they're going to get made. So, you know, so it's my, in my opinion, at least in my experience, the more I try to go out there and talk to people, the better. And of course, if you are shy, you can always try uh, Skype as well, right? You can find a language partner somewhere in a different country. You'll probably never see them and you can make as many mistakes as you want and, uh, and you can try to talk to them. And it's a, it's a fun way to, you know, to learn a language and to, to do a language exchange. I've had a lot of really cool language exchange partners in, uh, in various languages. So I think that that can be a lot of fun. However, after saying all this, I'm going to again say that there will be people that are like, you know what, Gabriel, I prefer to actually get really, really good at the language that I'm learning. And after many months, then I'll be able to get to the point where I can express myself and have a meaningful conversation. That's along the lines of what the great polyglot Steve Kaufman, a friend of mine, says. He, he, I think he told me at some point, Gabriel, I like to have a meaningful conversation in language. So he waits a bit until he has this conversation. So he'll, he'll put a lot of effort into, you know, learning the language with uh, text and audio and so on. And then later in the game, he will get to the point where, okay, now it's time for me to have a conversation and he will be able to have a meaningful conversation. So if you'd like to wait, that is cool. But like I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, I believe it's a matter of personal preference. If you want to give it a try and you want to, and you want to try to talk to people, go for it, right? If you are, are a bit more on the reserved side or if you want to, uh, to wait until you, you have like a really well established developed vocabulary do that instead so there you go so those are my thoughts regarding uh, this aspect of uh, language learning and uh, i think i guess i'll just like quickly tackle uh, a little bit of how to speak in the new language from early on personally one thing that i always try to do is that i really like to do i write uh, an about me in English or in Portuguese or a language that I, that I really master. And uh, I get somebody to translate that into my target language. Okay, so that can be as many words as you want. That can be whatever, a thousand words, 2000 words or way, or way less, usually explaining why I'm learning a language. Uh, I talk a little bit about myself and I write that down. For example, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I was born in Brazil, I live in Canada. Uh, I'm learning this language because of the fact that I'm interested in it, whatever. So once I get somebody to translate that into the target language, I start studying that and also try to create variations of the sentences. And, uh, and I always try to actually learn how to say them too. So like normally I get a tutor or a language partner so I can actually learn how to say these things. And, uh, and of course, at the beginning, your vocabulary will be very limited. You won't be able to say a lot. But I personally find kind of fun to try to develop like a conversational basis and take it from there. So that's about it for now. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I forget, go Seahawks this Sunday and good luck learning a new language.